Hello, this is Ricky, and one question I've been getting a lot lately is users needing to be able to schedule a meeting in Teams. Um, you do not have to be a faculty member in our school district to be invited to these team meetings. So that means you don't need to create a new team every time you need to have a team meeting. Um, you can, but I'll show you, especially if you are using this to create or invite people to an ARD meeting or to a 504 meeting. So what you're going to need to do is open up Teams. So right now I'm logged into the web version of Office 365 and I'm going to click the icon that says Teams. Now also if you happen to have the Teams app already downloaded you'll see this is the app now that, that it looks identical. Okay, so I'm going to kind of jump back and forth depending on um, if you have the Teams app or you're using the online version of Teams. What makes this really nice is both of them look virtually the same. So just like you would send out an email and you would list all of the recipients, the parents, um, all of the stakeholders for a 504 and ARD meeting, you're going to do the same thing. But instead of doing this through Outlook, the, your mail, you're going to do this through Teams. So to do this, you're going to click on the calendar on the left, and you're going to click New Meeting up here at the top right. Now, I'm going to show you in the app, in the application, the desktop application, it's exactly the same procedure. You click on the calendar over here on the left, and then you're going to click New Meeting over here on the top right. Okay, I'm just going to keep this um, in the online version just for now. So we're going to click New Meeting. You're going to give it a title. I'm going to say this is a test 504 or ARD team meeting. Now, just like you would list all of your um, recipients in your email, you're going to do the same thing in here. So I'll just use my wife as an example. You just start typing them in. They'll show up like this if they're a member of our faculty. But if they are parents that have outside email addresses, like this one, you still type in their email and then you just click it. They don't have to be a member of our um, organization to be able to receive team meeting invites. I'm also going to put my personal email on here. Um, location doesn't matter because this is going to be virtual, but the time does. So I'm going to make sure because it's about 1052 right now, I'm going to say the meeting is from 1030 to 1130 so we can kind of see what it looks like. Um, this is just going to be a test meeting. So as soon as you have all of the relevant information, just like you were sending a regular email, you're going to click the send button. Okay. Now you're going to see this meeting show up on your calendar. And I'm going to scooch this over. This is my personal email. And look, the email just popped in. So if I was a parent and I opened up this email, this is what it would look like. Okay. The parent's probably not going to see all of these other meeting tests that they have. And you can see I've I've tried to do this several times before this recording. Um, maybe in the body of your email, you may mention, hey, this is a test meeting. Please click this join button down here at the bottom. So the parents will click join the Teams meeting. And they don't have to download the application. And I actually don't recommend it if they're at home. Um, they can cancel this part because I have the Teams app. It's giving me this option. So you just click cancel and then they'll click the button that says join the web instead. If they really want to download the app, that's fine. But they click join the web instead. It opens up. I'm going to turn off my camera and we're going to make this trending hashtag mute your microphone. If you've been in the meetings this past week, um, you know how important muting your mic is. So you're going to you know, turn both of those things off and click the join now button and then everybody should be in the meeting. Now, is everybody going to know to do this? Maybe, maybe not. Um, hopefully you still have their contact information and you can call them on the phone if you, if you need to. Um, but that is how you can create a test or a 504 or an ARD meeting or any other kind of meeting in Teams um, without having to create a team for every single meeting. I hope that helps. Let me know if you need anything else.